Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my candle day planning wish list type of video. I wanted to get this uploaded before candle day um, tomorrow, which is Thursday. <laughs> Thursday tomorrow, they are doing a rewards member um, early access. It's online only. Um, I probably won't buy anything, but I will definitely be on the site to check the whole situation out and kind of see um, what's going on. Um, but the store opens, my standalone store opens at 5 a.m. Um, and my mall store opens at 6. I could go to either. I think I'm going to go to my standalone store because it is a white barn. Um, so I think I'll have better options and selection at that store. Um, I do leave my house to go. I have to be at work at 7. I usually leave my house around like 5 50 6 o'clock so i'm not going to be there when my store opens i will not be standing in line um one i'm not that crazy about candle day and two i'm just not getting up that early and then having to wait an hour to go into work if not longer um so i will go to my standalone store um i did participate in candle day last year last year was my first ever um, I had a good experience. I remember I was so excited that I found a whole table of Paris Cafe. Um, I had heard, I'm like newer to being a Bath and Body Works lover. Um, well, I've loved it since I was little, but I haven't been obsessed with it until like 2019 going into 2020. I think winter of 2019 was my first ever like SAS that I was super into, had like a list and everything. And that's kind of like what started me off um before that I did go to SAS and stuff but um last year's candle day that's what I remember um I don't know if I remember all the candles I bought or how many I bought um I know I did purchase at Paris Cafe one or two um I got cookies with Santa um the Merry Maple Pancakes I don't think I filmed a video on it because I don't think I was really doing YouTube at the time or I just didn't film it. I don't know. I'll have to look back through. I have no idea. Um, but I'm very excited about it this year for multiple reasons. One, I'm more financially stable this year than I was last year. That is for sure. Two, um, I don't have the space for more candles. I'm at my max capacity where I currently keep them. Um, but we own a house now. We did not own a house. Well, we rent. But we did not have a house last year. So I was really limited, but I have accrued a lot of candles in the past year or two. Um, so I can find places for them. It's going to have to be different than where they are now. I'll probably keep those ones there, but the overflows gotta go somewhere else. I have accrued a lot. <laughs> I'm using them up though, which is good. I was not using them up a year ago. I was being very stingy and hoarding them. I still hoard some, but... Um, also, um, I'm more knowledgeable, uh, since I've been burning my candles, since I've been watching so many YouTube videos, I have found way more YouTubers that I've fallen in love with and consistently watch their videos that I have kind of developed my own opinion on candles. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, I will, I think, always be learning, but, uh, I've, come a long way and I kind of know more what I would like and what I wouldn't, what's worth it for me, what I have in my collection already and what I probably could like steer clear from. Um, so I developed this list while I was at work. Um, I had saw Life Inside the Page Daily Finds blog and I've, I've known about her for a while but I found her release of the Candle Day Candles and I've watched a ton of videos since I've known what Candles Life Inside the Page has said about and I am kind of confused now about the release of them. Um, some people have said, I know that they come out like in waves. Uh, they kind of like start their floor with these certain collections and then they put more out as they have to restock and it's kind of all over the place. I will probably go before and after work, but I really can't do anything else about like the in-between. Um, 
I don't know if all the candles that are on this list are even going to be available. I don't know when they'll be available. Um, I just watch videos before work, during my lunch break, and when I get home. So it's kind of like sporadic. Um, I don't like necessarily pay attention the best to every video I watch. So I, I don't know. But I made this list. Um, I do have the 20% off. So Tina Marie put up like the count, well, like the pricing. She got it from somebody else, I don't remember who, but if you have the 10 off 40, the candles are like $7 and some change. Um, if you only buy, you know, four, well, yeah, four candles, something like that. But I have the 20% off, so each candle is going to come down to $7.98, 90 some cents. Um, so that's a very good deal that is very close to SAS prices, but your options are endless at, SA or at um, candle day versus SAS when usually it's like two or three cents at a time that they kind of clearance out. And it's, it's a harder, um, it's much harder during SAS to find three wick candles at the 75% off price point when you're getting very close to that at candle day if you have a 20% off. I did offer my coworker at work. Um, I told her if she makes a list for me, I will get her whatever candles. She does have the 10 off 40, but she does not have the 20% off. And I told her that if she wanted, you know, more than four, that it would probably be better price wise if I got them for her with my 20% off. Um, she had said right off the bat, berry waffle cone, Mary cookie, um, snickerdoodle, sugar snickerdoodle. I think those were the three she named right off the bat. And I said, can you make me a list by the end of the day? Well, I should have known. I was not going to see her before the end of the day because our days get crazy. She's also a manager. So we're constantly like running around and stuff. And I didn't get to see her before the end of the day. Um, but if I do get that list, I will show you guys either when I do the haul or whatever. But enough chit chat, let's go in to my candles. Um, I do have a budget. My budget is $100. Um, if I were to get 11 candles, it would be about $88. So I can get, am I really gonna do the math right now? 88 plus another $8, let's say, would be 96. So I can get 12 candles. Yes, 12 candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have 12 candles on my list. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, first on my list, I have Wine Cellar. This was a candle I really wanted last year when they released it in like that hexagon type of packaging. It was a like maroon glass and it looked so pretty. I originally was going to pick it up so that I could give it to my mom. Um, she loves wine. I thought it would be a perfect Christmas gift and I just was not able to find it. I never saw it at any of, well, at my store. Um, so now I want it more so for myself. I don't think she would really care too much for it. Um, my dad burns candles more than she does. Would she appreciate it? Probably, but I am not specifically looking to get her it this year. Um, I don't remember the scent notes, but I'm thinking it might disappoint me a little bit and be more of like a bland berry, kind of like a black cherry Merlot or like a blackberry and basil. So I'm gonna have to smell it. That one is like controversial. I might get it, I might not. Next is French Baguette. I will 100% be getting that. If I can't find that on candle day, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> I'm so excited for that candle. I love weird off the wall scents. Um, I'm definitely going to get it, if not two, maybe three. It depends what they have. If I can get, if I need to get up to my 12, I will buy more French baguette because I know I'm going to love it. Okay, next is the uh, mashup collection. This is a new one. This is cinnamon spiced vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. I love hot cocoa and cream. That is one of my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scents. I will wear it in body care. I will use it in a hand soap. I will burn it in a candle. I absolutely love that fragrance. So... Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, I have in a three wick. 
I was originally going to give it to Cinda because she really likes that fragrance. I smelled it. They were burning it in store one day and I was like, oh my gosh, what does that smell? It smells like something's on fire, like gasoline. It was disgusting. Um, <laughs> but I bought it for her and then she didn't want it anymore. She thought that candles were giving her... Oh, jeez. My friend's texting me. I'll have to answer that later. Um... So I kept the candle. I still have it. I am excited to burn it to get my own opinion here at home, but in the store it smelled awful. So we will have to see. Um, but I think the like mix up of that with cocoa and cream is going to be really good. So we will see next. And this is what I'm kind of sad about because somebody's video that I watched, the candle guy, the candle channel, the candle channel, I think that's the name of it. Um, I've recently found him. He is a newer um, YouTuber to me. Um, I'm pretty sure he said this is a candle that's not going to be released until after candle day, which I'm really sad about. Um, if that is true, I will definitely be trying to exchange. Like most people, I have not touched the exchange policy since it's changed. I'm too scared. I don't know enough about it. I don't want people to hate me. Um, I really like the girls at my store and I don't want to piss anybody off, but this is one I might have to make an exception for. Um, and that scent is pistachio and toasted vanilla. Um, I had pistachio ice cream in a single wick. I really, really enjoyed it. And I think that's going to be a beautiful candle. As soon as I saw that, I knew that was going to be on my list. I will for sure get that. Next is another candle that I will for sure grab. I'm so excited. It is a blueberry marshmallow bar. I love blueberry scents. Cinda loves blueberry scents. That is like totally up my alley. They've been really kicking it off with these marshmallow scents. They've been so good. Beach nights, um, uh, marshmallow flur or fireside flurries. I always want to say marshmallow flurries. It's fireside flurries. Um, I'll talk about that scent in a different video, like more in depth, but I've been loving the marshmallow. It makes me so happy and it just smells so good. So I will definitely be getting that. Next is one that I think my husband will really like. So if I get it, it's going to be for him, not necessarily me. Um, it is Ginger Lime Twist, which we're thinking is probably the Moscow Mule candle that they came out with uh, two Christmases ago. I don't think it came out last year. Um, Frosted Moscow Mule, is that what it was called? I don't know. Um, my husband was really into like a Moscow Mule phase. He drank them all the time. Now, not so much. Um, he still likes them though. I, it's just usually I limit him to getting beer when we go out to eat because it's so expensive to get mixed drinks. Um, but he'll get them from time to time when we go on vacation and stuff. So I would definitely get that one for him. Uh, the margarita candle that came out... I can't think of the name. Margarita Citron's the only thing that's coming to mind, but I know that's a tree hut <laughs> body scrub. Um, the margarita one that came out in like the bluish green packaging over the summer, I did buy that. I have not burned it yet, but a lot of people were saying that was like a cousin to Frosted Moscow Mule and I got that one for him. I didn't really want that one, but I got it. Next is one for the packaging. I want this one really bad for the packaging. It is Balsam and Firewood. It is like, it's a simplistic packaging, but it's so pretty. It is like a little scenery with like some trees and it just looks very rustic and it's so cute. I really just want it for the packaging. I think I will like the scent, but every time I see it, I'm just like, oh, I want it so bad, but I don't want to pay you know, the thirteen fifty or whatever it's priced at when they're on sale. Next is Strawberry Snowflakes. I feel like people have not given that one good reviews, but I think in a small space, it could definitely perform well. Um, I'm thinking of it for the bedroom. So we'll see. That one's not 100%. Next is one that I had talked about um, getting. I didn't know that it came in a three wick and you guys told me that it did. And I specifically looked for it when I was in store and that is smoked vanilla whiskey. I was looking for a wallflower that one day I had a coupon and I smelled all the one wicks and I was like, I need smoked vanilla whiskey. So I got it in the wallflower. I have since accumulated a total of three. I need it in the candle. I know it's kind of like a basic cologne, smoky, um, fireside type of scent, but I don't care. It, it just smells so good to me. I don't know what it is, but that scent is just like amazing. I want it in a candle. I'll probably just get one though. Next is Winter Candy Apple. I did get it in the glass jar lid uh, packaging. 
uh, if I can find that one on Kindle Day, I will 100% get it. But if not, I will just buy their regular three wick. I'm thinking that that's probably a candle that's going to go 75% off. Probably because it's like a core scent they're going to want to get rid of. Um, we'll see. But if I still need to get to my $12 price point, I know I really want that candle. I want to burn it. So I'll pick it up. Next is one I've never had before, and I always miss the opportunity to get it. It is Peppermint Hot Chocolate. Um, the packaging is super pretty on that one. I smelled it in store. I really, really liked it. Hot chocolate, any type of chocolate candle is totally up my alley. So I really, really want that one. So I will be on the lookout for that one. What is all that? Just clothes. Farm clothes? Yeah. Oh. Okay, the last one is an online exclusive, so I probably won't get it. <laughs> but I know it was out last candle day, and I was really, really sad that I didn't get it. I didn't know at the time that I wanted it, but now looking back, I wish I would have just picked up one. It is a red velvet cupcake. It was in like a red and black plaid last year, and I really just didn't pay attention to it. I remember specifically that that candle was on the first table to the left when I walked into my store and I just didn't pay attention to it. And now I really, really want it because I think it would smell super good. So that is all on my list. Um, I'm really excited to see what else they have. I would want the unicorn sprinkles, but I do already have that. And it's been compared to enough fragrances that I don't think it's as special anymore. Um, I found that at SAS and I was so excited. That was like day one of SAS. I grabbed it off the table. Super happy to have it in my collection, but I don't think I need a backup. It doesn't seem that special. So yeah, we will see what I pick up if I stay under my limit or if I go over. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.